Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled deep within the mountains, there lived a young monk named Hiroshi. Since childhood, Hiroshi had been drawn to the teachings of Zen, seeking solace and wisdom within its profound philosophy. However, despite his dedication, Hiroshi often found himself overwhelmed by negative thoughts and self-doubt. Yearning to deepen his understanding of Zen and conquer his inner turmoil, Hiroshi embarked on a journey to find the renowned Zen master, Master Jiro. It was said that Master Jiro possessed an extraordinary ability to illuminate the power of positive thinking and guide his disciples towards enlightenment. After a long and arduous journey, Hiroshi finally arrived at a modest temple hidden amongst towering ancient trees. As he stepped inside, a sense of tranquility enveloped him, and he knew he had found the right place. Master Jiro, an old man with a serene countenance, greeted Hiroshi with a gentle smile. Welcome, young monk, he said. I have been expecting you. Let us begin the transformative journey that lies ahead. Excitement and trepidation filled Hiroshi's heart as he followed Master Jiro's guidance. Over the next few weeks, Hiroshi immersed himself in the teachings of Zen, meditating under moonlit skies, contemplating the sound of running water, and embracing the simplicity of daily tasks. One day, while Hiroshi was tending to the temple's serene garden, he noticed a withered cherry blossom tree in a secluded corner. Its branches were devoid of life, and its blooms had long faded away. Hiroshi felt a strange connection to the tree, mirroring his own inner struggles. Approaching Master Jiro, he asked, Master, what can we learn from the withered cherry blossom tree? Master Jiro paused, reflecting deeply. Ah, the cherry blossom tree, he said softly. Like life itself, the cherry blossom tree experiences cycles of birth, growth, and decay. However, even in its withered state, the essence of the cherry blossom endures. Its spirit resides in every cell of the tree, waiting patiently for the arrival of spring when it will bloom once again. Hiroshi pondered these words, realizing that just like the cherry blossom tree, his own essence remained intact despite his struggles. The power of positive thinking lay in acknowledging the eternal spirit within, even when faced with difficulties. As the days turned into months, Hiroshi's understanding of Zen deepened. One evening as the sun began its descent, Master Jiro led Hiroshi to a serene pond shimmering with golden hues. Floating in the center of the pond was a single lotus flower, its velvety petals reflecting the last rays of sunlight. Pointing to the lotus flower, Master Jiro asked Hiroshi, What do you see, my young disciple? Hiroshi studied the flower intently, noticing how its roots were enmeshed in murky depths, while the blossom emerged pure and untainted. Master, Hiroshi replied, the lotus flower reminds me that beauty and purity can manifest even in the midst of adversity and imperfection. Master Jiro gently nodded, acknowledging Hiroshi's insight. Indeed, my dear disciple, he said, just like the lotus flower, our minds have the potential to rise above the challenges that surround us. By cultivating positive thoughts, nurturing resilience, and embracing the notion of impermanence, we can uncover the eternal beauty inherent in our very being. Hiroshi's journey continued, leading him through poignant lessons and profound realizations. With each passing day, his negativity began to dissipate, replaced by a profound sense of gratitude and joy. One evening, under a sky ablaze with stars, Master Jiro invited Hiroshi to join him on a mountain summit. As they stood in silence, breathing in the crisp air, Hiroshi sensed an overwhelming connection to all of existence. Master, why does positive thinking hold such transformative power? Hiroshi questioned, his voice full of wonder. Master Jiro's eyes twinkled with wisdom as he replied, Positive thinking is not merely the practice of ignoring life's challenges, but rather an acknowledgement of our innate ability to choose how we respond. When we embrace positivity, we align ourselves with the boundless energy of the universe, we become co-creators of our reality forging a path filled with joy, compassion, and enlightenment. As Hiroshi gazed at the endless expanse of stars above, he understood that the power to shape his reality lay within his own heart and mind. The journey he had embarked upon had awakened a deep reservoir of positivity that would serve as a guiding light on his path towards enlightenment. From that moment onwards, Hiroshi dedicated himself to spreading the power of positive thinking to all who sought his guidance. He established a small temple in a nearby village, 
sharing the wisdom of Master Jiro with anyone willing to listen. Through his teachings and unwavering positivity, he ignited a flame of hope in the hearts of countless individuals. The village began to flourish, not only physically but spiritually as well. Positivity had become a way of life, a guiding principle that transformed every aspect of their existence. Hiroshi's impact reached far and wide, as people from distant lands flocked to learn from his teachings. The village grew into a thriving hub of love, compassion, and enlightenment, its vibrancy echoing the immense power of positive thinking. And so, the story of Hiroshi, the young monk who conquered his inner turmoil and shared the transformative power of positive thinking, continues to inspire generations to this day. His legacy reminds us that within each of us lies the potential to rise above challenges, sculpting a life of beauty, joy, and boundless possibilities.